perfect. Hello, my queens, kings, and everything in betweens. My name is Sierra, and this is my significant other, Juan. And today, we are just going to be hanging out and starting our morning. We have literally just woken up. I mean, to be fair, it was probably like 45 minutes ago, mm -hmm. but we just had to get- And we had to make coffee. So. Yeah, we had to make our coffee, and like, we didn't want to be like sleepy-eyed and like too messy for you guys, so. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> um, so today, we are just going to be starting our morning, and- hanging out with you guys so first we um obviously have our coffee thank you juan for making that he does that every morning because he is so freaking amazing mm -hmm. part-time barista part-time barista honestly Homemade. i was a trained barista and he still is better <laughs> at making drinks than me all drinks like thank you bartending drinks and wow coffee drinks so and generous all of it it's so good Delightful. thank you thank you Okay, so I take my tarot card deck. We usually read out of um, this for our like card of the day because, I don't know, I just feel like it resonates more if you read it from this during, I don't know, we just like have our ways for the things that we do. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull a card. Whoa. That was death and the devil. Yeah. So the devil, um, the planet and sign is Capricorn. Uh, the crystal is smoky quartz, and the chakra is the throat chakra. So the interpretation is, you have become dependent on someone or something and believe that they bring you fulfillment. This is not true. You are choosing inertia. To have a victim mentality and ultimately to avoid change, okay? There may be good reason for this at this time, but things will alter. You will break free of your chrysalis and emerge as a beautiful butterfly. There is a balance in all nature, and this will come around in your favor soon. If you feel stuck in the physical world, look to the spiritual world for answers. Have faith and stay strong. No matter how uncomfortable it might be, your old beliefs must shatter if you are to move forward in life and learn to trust again. And those for you uh, that are watching this and have smoky quartz, um, I want to go along here with us. Mm -hmm offers protection and helps you move forward out of this difficult phase. While Capricorn brings the energy of perseverance, seeing a project or situation through to completion. Focus your healing on your throat chakra to aid communication and clear expression, as you can be obsessive, but this is just so you can shun expression. Let people know what you are thinking and above all, avoid temptation. Yeah, that's what the like biggest thing that I get out of this card every time I see it, because like you have like, the two people mm -hmm. and then the ball and chain. Mm -hmm. And I think that that has a big symbolization of like, you are looking, you're chained down to like the physical realm, right? Like you're right. looking for things outside of yourself or outside, like you're depending on something or someone else yeah. to get your fulfillment or to get your answers yeah. instead of looking within and like self-reflecting and all of that working on the inner yeah okay and then the, the next card is the death card and that says big changes oh okay so the planet sign is scorpio um i don't know how to say that crocon crocate croc goite croc 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 i have croc no idea i'll put it on right here or something <laughs> but i don't know how to pronounce that croc um, and the chakra is your crown chakra so it says big changes are happening in your life as it is an end of one period and the start of another as one door closes so another will open for you look within and reflect on what you really want from life for you have the chance to be free leaving behind the things you don't need and moving forward but don't let old habits fears and beliefs hold you back here release what you don't need don't dwell on the past and be in the moment Transformation will follow. Taoists say, what to, the, what to the caterpillar is the end of the world? To the master is a butterfly. This is new beginnings for you. Enjoy it and see it as beauty rather than focusing on the sometimes difficult transformation. Mm -hmm. And then crocite, croco, crite, I don't know, can, <laughs> it can smooth rough seas of change and help you ride even the greatest, most uncomfortable challenges. Scorpio suggests a need to dig deeper under the surface to find fulfillment. The crown chakra is your connection to the universe and all the possibilities that can exist for you. 
Interesting. Okay. So we usually pull two cards for the day and those are just the ones that came out. Usually I have like um, at least kind of an idea of who's is who's, but this time they jumped out so quickly. I was like, I don't know. I just feel like it could be a message, a message for, for both, both of us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, that was nice. That's yeah. just how we usually start that out. And then um, sometimes we'll like read after this or we'll do um, like our gratitude and mm -hmm. I think it's usually a little self-reflection yeah 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 so that's how we start our mornings pretty nice yeah it's nice having the routine down mm -hmm. it's such a nice day out too yeah but it probably is going to be so insanely hot later because that's how it always gets yeah in it, Illinois. it's like cool right now it's a little windy and brisky just like yesterday and then in the middle like middle of the day it it gets 95 so degrees humid. it's so hot everybody's just like yeah let's go home let's go inside let's stay inside as soon as you step outside you just get like wet you're just like sticky yeah it's not as bad as florida was florida was like Ugh. horrible that tropical weather but we we're also living in the van yeah and it At was the end of it summer, wasn't even fall. summertime it was like um it was like the fall the fall yeah, yeah. yeah. so it definitely should not have and it was raining too, so it's like it would rain and then get even, you know, more humid. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we always avoid the winter. Anytime yeah. it hits winter, it starts snowing in whatever state we're at, or so it's we getting about. hot in Arizona. We're like, we gotta go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's you know, one of the pr biggest pros to living van life. Absolutely. Yeah, you can just pack up your stuff and go. And I mean, we call what we're in right now. We call this like our little tree. You know, we're like yeah. in our tree because these are this is all like just wood panels around so mm -hmm. we keep everything condensed to just this one little area here yeah because we like to i mean we're going back to the van after this mm -hmm. because we paused on van life for a really really short period of time because we thought that that was just the best for us but then the world went into a spiral the mm -hmm. pandemic hit and we had to come to illinois because we ended up losing our jobs um for the time being and so, you know, when we go back to our jobs, we're going to end up living in a in the van again. So we like to keep, like, stay in small rooms like this because mm -hmm. we like to keep our stuff condensed and make sure we don't accumulate a lot of things by the time, from the time that we're in here versus the time that we go back. So in that way, our move from one area to the next is really easy. Flawless. Yeah. And then plus, I think it's super funny because Juan and I would always joke about how we like trained to live in the van together because we lived in this room, which is, you guys can't really tell, but it is a pretty small room. Like this is a king size mm -hmm. bed and it takes up 95% of, of the room. room. Like, yes. I'm Walls touching right the there. wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really tiny room. The wall's like three inches away right yeah there. so we also when we were in colorado building the van we pretty much lived in a, a small one bedroom it was a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than this but still small quarters mm -hmm. and we just learned to be comfortable getting in each other's way and like having to like move over each other and grab something and like live in this tiny space so the van is like no problem now <laughs> yeah it's easy it's easy yeah. peasy so it's unfortunate that we can't live in it full time right now i mean obviously with what's going it's, on in the world yeah. but like for van lifers you know gyms are a big deal because that's yeah. where most of us would go to shower or just like restart your day but like you really can't go to gyms right now. Right. Some states have them open, but most of them have them closed and they should be closed, mm -hmm. to be honest. But, yeah. Right. Because, I mean, that's what we looked at a list of what was, like, the most likely that you would catch a coronavirus case. Right. Yeah. If you've been to, like, one of these things, whether it's, like, barbecues. Um, I'll, like, leave a link to it below if you're interested in looking at it. But gyms was second to last on the likeliness of you catching... The virus because of just how many bodily fluids are out there and then plus if you're showering it doesn't get cleaned every single shower mm -hmm. so you just have to really be safe we were thinking because Juan and I were thinking like what are we gonna do when we leave and you know we don't have a place to shower or something so right. if you know someone who lives van life or you live van life let us know what you guys yeah, do well, works for you. Um, we've heard like flying J's and like gas stations, mm -hmm. but I don't know if those places are still open. Um, so if you're a trucker also, like um, where are places that you take showers? So yeah, this is how Juan and I start our mornings. Um, after this, then we usually will work out dependent on what we have planned for the rest of the day. Um, 
because it's just easier to like work out, shower, get ready, and then like do the rest of your day rather than get ready, work out, shower in the middle of the day, and then like have to either get ready again or it's just a mess. So yeah. <laughs> working out in the morning is usually the way to go. Um, luckily we have a gym, like literally we have a door on this side to mm -hmm. go out to our backyard and then a door on this side that goes out to the garage, which is also doubles as a gym, thankfully. Um, so that's super easy. We'll just hop out that door. And then um, sometimes we'll eat after our coffee, but usually our coffee is like our pre-workout. Mm -hmm. True. Um, and then we'll just eat after we work out. Um, and then we do our thing. So I think this was pretty much all that I had to do today besides editing um, my tarot card readings, which nice. is already posted, the one for Monday is the one that I'm going to be editing today. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll have it linked below. Um, and yeah. Also, you can check out my blog. Um, check out Juan's Instagram. Do it. I will also have my Instagram linked below. Mm -hmm. So yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for chatting with mm -hmm. us and spending the morning with us. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.